In my last video, I built my own DIY split flap display. Now that the display is completed, it's time to put it to use and turn it into a YouTube subscriber counter. I spent the last few weeks developing this Python script. It fetches data from the YouTube API, parses it, and sends the result to the split flap display. To use it, you start by putting in your Google API key, the ID of the YouTube channel to track, and the serial port where the split flap display is connected. Once the script launches, it will home the display and then show a brief startup sequence. Then it will start grabbing data from the API. First, it shows channel statistics. The channel name, total views, and number of videos. This is fetched and shown every hour, mostly to keep the dust off. Next, it will check if there's a new video on the channel. If there is, it will show the title of the video, followed by the number of views, likes, and comments. The script checks for new videos every five minutes and shows the stats every half hour. And now for the main event, the subscriber counter. This is the default view for the display and is updated every two minutes. I also made a little optional incrementer that shows the number of subs added. Although all of the footage so far has been for my own channel, the script supports any channel on YouTube. This is going to be a permanent fixture in my workshop. So I made a shelf out of some wood and routed a T-slot for mounting the flat modules. I designed these 3D printed brackets for holding the modules in place. Each module is secured with an M4 bolt and a T-nut. The script is installed on a Raspberry Pi 0W and is launched on boot, so everything is plug and play. If you want to build your own split flap display, or if you want to turn your display into a YouTube sub counter, I'll leave links in the description to the code, design files, and documentation. If you enjoyed this project, please consider subscribing. If nothing else, it'll make the sub counter move. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.